Now we're in the Coliseum. <laughs> uh, I love the beat and the rhythm at the beginning of this. It's funny. I, I wouldn't think offhand that I would recognize a Classics Nouveau sound outside of your voice. But as soon as these instruments come in, I hear a signature that's obviously Classics Nouveau. Very nice. Battle cry. I like it. Um, I guess I'm going to go back to the time thing. How are you feeling about time these days? Well, I think the strange thing about coming back is realizing that most of our audience is in the 50 to 60 year old age group. So in our original incarnation, we were kind of speaking to and for 20 somethings and now we're speaking to and for 50 somethings or even 60 somethings and uh, so i think there's a lot of uh, people appreciating their families now you know people with grandchildren and so on and so at the same time we know that there's a lot more stuff you can do. You're not really that old when you get old now compared to our parents or grandparents. That's the first thing. But the second thing is, all the things you have not yet done in your life, you say, uh, well, maybe now's the time to do them. And so that's really why I was saying that there's, there's mountains still to climb and all those kind of things. You know, we're not dead yet. No. <laughs> there's plenty of life left in the old horse, you know? Yeah. Oh, the, the... You still have the ability to write great hooks, though. Like, I, I already am hearing Battle Cry over and over in my head. It, like, already hooks you. And so your your grasp of a, a melody that stays with you is just still there. So sharp. Good as ever. <laughs> well, I hope, it's, I hope it's better than ever. By now, I've had more practice. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, you can... I'm also thinking about listening to it. When you talk about that, everyone feels highlighted in the band. You hear them all playing. You hear them, they're not just musicians. You can start pegging out the different individual sounds and who they are and how they've all grown over time. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good observation because back in the day, we were very aware of what kind of trend, what fashion we were in. It was a moment when there were new sounds and there were new styles and we very much wanted to be the new thing and not the old thing. But today it doesn't matter. It's like whatever's good. All right, you know, everything's good now. And on this album, all the musicians were really given freedom to input what they wanted to input. And so as a result, I think it's ended up much better. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, you, you hit the nail on the head. When you hit a certain age, you only have to please yourself. You're not pleasing the masses. You do what feels right to you. You've learned, you understand your your voice and what you have to say, and uh, yeah, you can hear it. Well, it's next one. Yeah, yeah. Well, well I was just going to say, but okay. <laughs> move on. But that was part of the fun of doing this. Really, was there was no special limitations. There was no special direction. We we just kept on creating and see where it would lead. And so we. This is how we've ended up with the new version of Classics Nouveau. But yes, let's go into the next. Okay, one. wait. One more thing though, before you go there. So how did you know when you were done? How did you know when everything was where you wanted it? Because I could tinker forever on things. Well, I almost did. <laughs> you know, it was, it was over two years from beginning to end. Um, and uh, I don't know, I, I, I think uh, maybe when I'm sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. I think when it feels right, it's right and you know it. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Well, I'm far from sick of it. Let's go on to track three. 